By request, this is a water slide decal tutorial series brought to you by the kind folks at GoldenArmor.com. Water slide decals give you a fast, inexpensive, and easy way to apply graphics to any kind of surface. In this tutorial series, I'll be educating you on how to properly apply and seal water slide decals onto plastic and resin surfaces using these X-Wing helmet blanks as project samples. Any kind of graphic can be manually masked and painted and or airbrushed, but why spend weeks and weeks on a job that can be done in a single afternoon using these techniques? In this specific tutorial, I'll be guiding you step by step as we build the Gold Leader Helmet. Other helmets will be built up as samples in future videos, so be sure to check the links and website provided in this video. The tools you'll need are a watertight vessel, scissors, a few disposable brushes, a fresh razor blade, water, and clear overcoat sealer, available at any hobby or home improvement center. Start by separating your decals using the scissors. Be sure to take notes if there are any specific location labels on the graphics, such as left side, right side, cut inside edge, etc. If you've never worked with these type of decals before, start with a test piece, such as a piece of text or logo available on each decal sheet. Applying these decals and having them stay permanent is a tricky prospect, especially when working on curved surfaces, so please follow the instructions in this video very closely and don't skip any steps. Submerge the decal under room temperature water. Have a clock nearby so you can gauge how long the test piece takes to loosen up off the backing paper. This is usually 30 to 50 seconds. Gently pluck the decal from the water and position it over your model. Slide the backing paper away. The decal will slide around for a few moments, so use this opportunity to move it into its permanent location. Use a paper towel to gently blot the decal for a few moments until the moisture is wicked off the surface. Immediately spray the decal with clear top coat. This is going to adhere it to the surface permanently. If you don't do this step, the decal will delaminate. Spray about three layers to seal the area. This is a simple decal we're starting with. Others require additional steps, so please pay close attention. There are two different types of water slide decals that may be in your kit. One is printed on clear that allows the subsurface layer to show through. When a color besides black needs to be visible on a surface that is not white, a white decal paper is provided. This is an example of this. This paper is a bit thicker, so pay close attention to trim right up to the edges of the graphic. For this particular area, we're dealing with a curved surface. You'll notice that the decal will not lay down flat because of this curvature. Remedy this issue by using a brand new razor blade to score the decal along each wrinkle. Then press it flat. You want to use a blade that's sharp as possible to avoid tearing the graphic. Blot it dry and immediately apply a few coats of clear seal. I can't say it enough times, but you need to clear coat each decal immediately. On the decals that you need to slice like this, you'll want to hang around after you spray it. Sometimes the edges will want to lift up. Use a brush or a finger to press these areas back down flat. The clear spray is like a lubricant for about 8 seconds after it's first applied, and this is an advantage when it comes to pushing down any wayward edges. Let me show you this technique again except this time on an even more challenging area. The temples of this helmet are very curved and creates a whole truckload of problems for the decals, but they are simple to fix if you follow these instructions. As I mentioned earlier in this tutorial, some decals are printed on clear paper and others are printed on white paper out of necessity because we don't want the base color to show through. We want the grid lines to show in this sample, so it must be printed on white. As you can tell, the decal is honorary because of this curved surface. The decal needs to be tamed. Use wet fingers to keep pushing the decal into position and keeping the edges flat. Now grab that brand new razor blade and start slicing wherever there's a wrinkle. Keep slicing starting at one edge and working your way around to the other. 
Be careful not to cut a pie wedge that's completely separate from the main body of the graphic. Do this entire procedure in one sitting and stay cool as you work the entire decal flat. Use water as necessary to keep the edges flat to the surface. Remember earlier that I said that a fresh spray of clear coat is like a lubricant? This is to your great advantage here. Spray your entire decal in sections and use a finger or brush to press out any air bubbles. Remember to do this in a controlled manner or you'll separate the decal, which you don't want. This clear sealer is like lubricant for the first 10 seconds, then it becomes like glue. Just keep spraying a new layer when it gets too tacky to work with. Once it's all down flat, walk away for an hour and let the sealer cure completely. Now it's time to touch up paint. Instead of having to mix up a custom color match, here's a great trick I learned from Stan Winston. Use the same spray paint you used earlier, spray it on a piece of plastic, and brush this paint on. In this case, I basically colored inside all the squares, and then mixed custom colors for the bluish squares and grid lines. Done carefully, all the cracks in the decal will have disappeared. I won't go into fabulous detail about how to weather this helmet, as this can be seen in so many of my other videos, and specifically in the series linked below. Click those links to access free videos for advanced weathering techniques. I hope this tutorial served to help you learn how to properly apply these water slide decals. They are very tricky, but when done properly, they are an amazing tool. Thanks, and happy modeling.